Hello Taurus and Cross Watchers. This is going to be your weekly love reading. If this reading resonates with you, please be sure to hit the like button and also tap on the red subscribe button on the bottom left hand corner underneath the video. Um, so that this way any future, you know, uh, readings that I post, you'll, they'll come up automatically on your, um, YouTube feed. If the reading does not resonate with you, please understand it is a general reading. It is not for everybody. Um, and also be sure to check your rising of your moon rising and Venus signs. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started, Taurus. One moment here. Okay. So what do we have for Taurus? Second to June 9th, 2019. Taurus, June 2nd to June 9th, 2019. Love messages for Taurus, June 2nd to June 9th, 2019. Okay, Taurus, let's get started. So we do have some air here. Uh, which is going to be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We do have Cups here, uh, which is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We do have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Oh, Taurus, what is happening here? You have some fire here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Um, okay, so I do have uh, your underlining energy as a soulmate energy. Okay, so this is a uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries uh, energy, wands. Um, and it is, you know, you do feel like you have found your a soulmate connection with somebody. Okay, you have 11 11 there. So let's see what's happening here. So we have the the Eight of Swords here. Again, this is going to be uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So I don't know what's going on here, Taurus, but you feel kind of trapped in something. You feel like um, you don't belong, like maybe something is happening behind your back. A lot of anxiety here, okay? And this is being uh, clarified by the Fool. So the Fool is new beginnings, and it also means taking risks. So maybe... Um, with you and your person I'm getting here that maybe they're backing you into a corner. They're kind of forcing you saying, listen, if you want to be with me, you're going to have to do this, this and that. Or maybe that's, you know, you doing that to your person. Okay. Um, but th there's some type of your, either you're being asked to take a risk or you're asking your person to take a risk. So yeah, I see here that we have the Ten of Cups. Cups is water energy, okay? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And it's being, um, I mean, this is a beautiful card, okay? This is wish fulfillment. This is marriage, happy home, life, kids, you know, money. I mean, this is just like a wish fulfillment card. What's weird is that it's in between all of this chaos, okay? So we have clarifying that. We have the Nine of Swords, which again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So again, I feel like this person um, is telling you, you know, we're soulmates. We're meant to be together. We, we can end up like this. And they're, they're asking you to take a risk, to make a decision, to, 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 to do something uh, for a new beginning so that this can begin. And it's causing you a lot of anxiety, Taurus. I mean, a lot of sleepless nights, uh, fear, anxiety. Um, not a good feeling here, okay? So they're trying to push you to make a, a, some type of, I want to say decision or, or you know, uh, to start some new beginning so that you guys can have this. Um, but, you know, you're a Taurus, so you're very, you know, stubborn and, and it's got to be, you know, your way. I mean, I love you, Taurus, but let's just face it, you are the sign of the bull, okay? Um, so again, this could be, you know, you or it could be your person's energy, but here I do have you know, the 10 of swords. Um, so I do have that they are, you know, your person is not going to win. They are not going to back you into a corner. Okay. Um, something is going to come crashing down here and, uh, you know, it, there could be a third party situation here. It could be that you don't want to be trapped because there's someone else. Um, and you know, you, are not sure what road you want to take. Um, maybe you got two different people in your life right now, Taurus, and you're not sure if you want this marriage energy right now. You, uh, you know, this person wants like the, the corner house with the white picket fence and they want the family life with you. And 
I don't know. It, it feels like you just... Not that you don't want that, Taurus, because, I, again, we have a soulmate energy here. You know that there's something special about this person, but you don't want to feel tied down. You don't want to feel trapped. At the same time, you don't want to lose this person, and it's causing you a lot of anxiety, okay, because they're forcing you into something that you're just not ready for, and that might be because you have other options here, Taurus, okay? Now, this can be vice versa. Okay, it can be vice versa, but um, I mean, that seems to be the situation here. Somebody is kind of pushing the other person to do something when that person's not ready. So here we have the Knight of Pentacles being uh, clarified by death. So again, this is going to be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And um, I feel like someone's coming towards you, Taurus, asking for change, for new beginnings. I mean, real change. Like they want you to go the whole 360, you know what I'm saying? Um, and you're not ready for that, maybe because, again, you know, maybe because there is someone else, you have a couple different options, you know, you do, again, you do know there's something special about this person, but they want it all with you, you know, they want it all with you, Taurus, and I don't feel like you're, you know, ready for that right now, you're not ready for this massive change that they're, they're asking of you. Now, here we have the Eight of Swords being clarified by the Six of Swords, so, I feel that either you want to move on to like calmer waters with this person, okay? Um, I don't know if you want to actually leave this person, but you do want the fighting to stop. It's causing you a lot of stress and it needs to stop. You can't feel like you're, you're being, you know, tied down, locked into a corner. Um, or this could also mean that, you know, this other person is threatening you that if, that if you don't do this, they're going to leave you. Um, but the energy that I feel more than anything from this is that you just want the relationship to move on. You don't want to feel like this in this relationship with this person. You want the whole relationship to move on to calmer waters. Like you just want this to be over already. Now, the Ten of Cups here is being uh, clarified by the Five of Swords, okay? And, and and this kind of, for me, it's saying that, you know, I understand that you want all of this, okay? But I am done fighting about this. Like, the, the, this is someone who's just got done fighting, the other person's walking away. I am done fighting about this. I am not ready for this right now. You know, and, and this is just the, what you have to understand. I'm just not ready for this type of commitment right now. I understand that there's something special between us, but um, I'm done fighting. Like, you're done fighting. You know what I'm saying? In both of these cards here, you see this the, This one person is done fighting. They're picking up their sword, walking away. And here, the, they're, walk, you know, trying to go into calmer waters. The arguing about this subject is just getting to your head and you can't do it anymore. So... Here we have the Queen of Cups being clarified by the Ten of Swords. So again, we have, you know, air energy here. We have uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have the Cups here, which is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, okay? So this tells me that, you know, the Queen of Cups is Mrs. Wifey. This is someone who's very lovely, loving, very nurturing, intuitive, empathetic. She is like a, an amazing wife or husband. You know, again, gender, it has nothing, does not matter when it comes to them to tarot. So this is marriage material person okay your person is marriage material they are the real deal you do feel a soulmate connection with this person but because they want this this perfect life with you they want this massive change from you it is going to come crashing down Taurus you are going to end up like breaking this because they're asking too much of you at the time. And you know, exactly here, this is perfect. Um, you have the Knight of Pentacles, which is you, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, being uh, clarified by the Four of Swords. You need mental rest, you're tired. You need mental rest from these swords, this the, this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You need rest from it. You, you can't do it anymore. It's causing you way too much anxiety and you, you have to step away for a little bit because you just can't deal with the fighting anymore and you can't be pushed into a corner either if you're just not ready for something and again this can be vice versa this can be your person's energy so here we have the fool and the fool is being clarified by the two of wands once again i feel like this person is asking you to take a risk and here they're asking you to make a choice so as you can see in this card there's two wands there and this is fire energy leo sagittarius aries energy um and you see he's got the world in one hand and he's holding on to the other one which means he's being asked to choose something he's being asked to make a choice and if you make that choice we could have the world and this is what i feel like your person is telling you make the choice and we could 
can have the world. We can have everything together, okay? We can have it all. Take the risk, choose me. You know, this is what this person I feel is coming at you with. Um, now, again, we have the Nine of Swords here, okay? Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and it is being uh, clarified by the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And I feel like this is your energy here, uh, Taurus. You know, I feel like you're just really, really, really full of anxiety, fear of losing this person. Just, you just want everything to stop. That's the energy that I'm getting here, okay? Um, and again, you know, there's going to be a lot of communication about this. We have the Three of Cups being clarified by the Eight of Wands. So this is a lot of fast communication, passionate communication, okay? So the Three of Cups doesn't have to be another man or another woman, guys, okay? It can be just the fact that you're not emotionally available right now. You're just not ready for this type of commitment. You're just not ready for this type of change in your life. And that is what's standing in between you and this person. And you guys are going to have a lot of communication about this. And I, I feel that the communication with all of these swords that you have happening here and the fact that, you know, this is fire, uh, uh, wands is, you know, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. It's fiery. It's passionate energy. And when you mix that with the swords, that means that it's con conflict. So it's a passionate conflict. It's if it's fighting energy, you know? So there's going to be a lot of fighting about you making this choice and what is standing in between you and your partner. And what did I say? I didn't even see the hierophant here. Okay. Death is being clarified by the Hierophant. So this person wants real commitment from you, Taurus. They want you to change and they want marriage. They want this, you have the you have the change, you have marriage, and they want they want it all with you, Taurus. Or again, it can be vice versa. This can be vice versa. But you know, this is and, and don't get me wrong, Taurus, you know that this is a soulmate connection. You know that this person is different than the rest. You know this, okay? But you're also like being asked to change, like severe change. I mean, they want everything with you. They want the world with you. They want change. They want marriage. They, they want it all, okay? And the fact that you don't want to give in to this is what's standing in between you and this person. And um, it, it it's going to be some real arguing here, okay? We have some real arguing here. Here we go. We have the Four of Wands being clarified by the Five of Pentacles, okay? So the Five of Pentacles is being left out in the cold. It means that you have a fear of losing this person if you don't give in. If you don't give in to their wishes, you're gonna lose them and that's why you're feeling trapped, okay? That's why you're feeling trapped. Yeah, see here we have the Knight of Swords. Again, someone coming towards you with conflict with their sword held high, but there is hope here. You know, there is hope. We do have hope here at the end of this because you guys are, you know, have that soulmate energy. You know, you guys have that soulmate energy. So let's see here. I mean, like I said, it's not like you don't know that this person isn't special. You know, they, you have the Queen of Cups here. You know, you know that they are very lo uh, kind, loving, sweet, intuitive. That this is a person that always wants to take care of the people around them. You know what I'm saying? Your person is an amazing person for us. You know, and again, this can be vice versa. You're amazing to them and you want them to commit to you. Um, it can be that too, you know. Um, but somebody here is is not willing to change and commit they they don't want to give that commitment you know whether it's because they have options and it's another person or they're just not emotionally unavailable whether it means that you know this um you know that you know they have like a partying lifestyle and and they don't want that home marriage like they're not ready to settle down yet you know they're not ready to settle down so something, you know, there is a lot of conflict about this. Your person is serious about you. You know, they love you and they want it all with you. They know that you, you guys are like a power couple. They know that you guys being together, you guys can have the world and they want that with you. They want that with you. So you got new love here. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And I feel like the reason why you don't want to commit or this person doesn't want to commit is because the relationship is too new. It's too new. Yeah. Soulmate. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. This is why it's hard for you, Taurus. You have a connection with this person. That's why it's so hard. Um, that's why you have such a fear of losing them because 
you you guys have known each other before, okay? You're scared because you've just met each other, you've just met each other, but then again, you feel like you've known each other forever, but then we have codependency came out, okay? So addictions are affecting your romantic life. So you may be you know, addicted to a partying lifestyle, a drug addiction, sex addiction. There may be something going on here, Taurus, that you don't want to give up because you know you have to give this up if you're going to have that married lifestyle, okay? And again, this can be vice versa. This can be vice versa. But see, under here, Taurus, you got free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So free yourself from these addictions, Taurus. Free yourself from these addictions because you have an amazing person here. And look at that. You can have the world there with this person. I mean, you can have wish fulfillment with this person. I mean, this is the most beautiful card that you can get, okay? It really is one of the most beautiful cards that you can get. I mean, this person, it could really be the one, all right? But you have to free yourself from these addictions. You have to free yourself from these addictions, and that does involve real change. Real change, Taurus, okay? So again, this can be vice versa. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, again, please be sure to uh, click on that like button and also uh, just tap on the, the red subscribe button on the bottom left-hand side underneath the video. All right, guys, take care.